I'm just going to talk to you a little bit about uh, supplying to the Olympic and Paralympic Games. So it is a little while off. We have got a decade, but of course that allows us to spend a bit of time getting ready. And I think that's one of the valuable things about having this long runway is that suppliers can get ready. As the minister uh, mentioned, uh, in the organising committee uh, for the, the games, it's written in, uh, the Buy Queensland approach to procurement is written in to that. And so we're very keen to ensure that local suppliers benefit from this huge event that's coming. And we talk about it almost as a two decades of opportunity. There's the run up and, and getting ready for the procurement that will influence the games, but also will be adjacent to the games. Some of that infrastructure development that will happen uh, to support that work. And then there's the decade after, making sure that really um, we uh, ensure that there is a legacy out of this uh, huge opportunity for local businesses. And so uh, we know that uh, there are a whole range of um, venues that are going to be developed and uh, those areas within Brisbane, the Gold Coast, Sunshine Coast, Cairns, Townsville and Toowoomba. So they will provide some of the epicentres, but spreading out from that a whole range of opportunities. Now, very importantly, there are a huge, uh, what we're thinking about in terms of what's coming as part of the Games. Those are some stats there. It just gives you a sense of the scale, which is quite significant. This gives you a sense of uh, the sorts of areas that are going to be key um, to the IOC sustainability strategy. So this, is a, this will be what people are talking about as a, a positive, carbon positive game. So the idea of lowering emissions and offsetting uh, is becoming critical in, as part of this. Uh, the responsibilities of the games is to uh, make sure that we have that sustainability strategy in place. Uh, and our bid was very much uh, successful because of that commitment to sustainability. That range of uh, issues that, that that brings about, if we are trying to be su um, sustainable in that approach, uh, then we're needing to offset more than 100% of any remaining emissions. Uh, and that is uh, a, quite an, a, a, an a task ahead. Uh, we're saying that to minimise emissions in, a, in line with the Paris Agreement, we're, we're having to limit global warming to 1.5 degrees Celsius. And uh, that is really about transitioning Queensland's journey to a lower carbon economy um, and accelerating that transition. So what we're saying is that businesses supplying to the Games, either directly or indirectly, will need to meet sustainability targets. And that sustainability criteria is being developed as we speak. Uh, and hopefully um, early next year, that will be launched and announced to make that, uh, those goalposts very clear. Uh, in the meantime, really, it is about starting to get yourself ready for that space. And I um, give a shameless plug for CCIQ, who will be presenting um, after the, the little break on about the EcoBiz initiative, uh, which is really about supporting businesses in making those transitions. As we say, this is a time now to start getting ready, to think about that sustainability and low emissions. How can you green your business and help to lower emissions, getting ready for that, starting to understand what opportunities will be coming um, out. Uh, early next year, we'll be releasing uh, an Olympic procurement statement that will provide a high level sense of the pipeline of procurement. So there'll be uh, peaks and troughs of procurement across that cycle. Uh, at the moment, people are very focused on infrastructure and getting ready to, for the venues and some of the roadworks and things that are around that. And there's probably then will be a little bit of a dip and then we'll be thinking about the next level. What happens in terms of the fit out of stadiums? What about uniforms? What about mascots? All of those things. Uh, so we are asking people to register for information. Uh, you'll see the site there and you'll see the postcards outside. But also to continue to do the other things that you would normally do. Uh, you know, really refine that capability statement. Be clear about the advantages that your business offers. Get ready, start to look at how you can start procuring to government in the meantime and learn a little bit more about us. For those who are already procuring, uh, again, just it is refining. 
So if you are, I haven't registered already, I think we've got close to 6,000 businesses at the moment who are registered to receive updates on uh, the Olympics, but also our other procurement opportunities, then please do go ahead and register. As I said, it'll, there'll, be a, there'll be peaks and troughs in the procurement over the next 10 years, but getting registered uh, will make sure that you're on the front foot and have, uh, are aware of those opportunities as they arise.